As fellow gardeners, we've all been there, standing in our beloved garden beds, watching helplessly as pests munch on our prized tomatoes or fungal diseases creep across our rose bushes. The immediate instinct might be to reach for commercial chemical sprays, but what if I told you that some of the most effective plant protection solutions are sitting right in your kitchen pantry? After years of experimenting and countless conversations with gardening friends, I've discovered that nature provides us with incredibly powerful tools to keep our plants healthy and thriving, without introducing harsh chemicals into our growing environment. The beauty of natural garden sprays extends far beyond their effectiveness. These homemade solutions protect beneficial insects like bees and ladybugs, while keeping harmful pests at bay. They're gentle on the soil microbiome that we work so hard to cultivate and they won't leave toxic residues on the fruits and vegetables we eventually harvest for our families. Plus, creating these sprays is remarkably cost-effective. You're likely spending a fraction of what commercial alternatives would cost using ingredients you probably already have on hand. The Mighty Garlic and Chili Pepper Spray Let's start with what I consider the heavyweight champion of natural pest deterrence the garlic and chili pepper combination. This potent duo works because most garden pests have an intense aversion to the sulfur compounds in garlic and the capsaicin in hot peppers. When you combine these two powerhouses, you create a spray that sends aphids, spider mites, white flies, and even larger pests, like rabbits, scurrying away from your plants. To create this garden guardian, blend four cloves of fresh garlic with two hot chili peppers. Jalapenos work wonderfully, but feel free to go hotter if you're dealing with persistent pests. In two cups of water, let this mixture steep overnight, allowing the natural compounds to infuse thoroughly into the water. Strain the mixture through a fine mesh or cheesecloth, then add a teaspoon of liquid dish soap to help the spray adhere to plant surfaces. The soap also breaks down the waxy coating on soft-bodied insects, making the treatment even more effective. Apply this spray during the cooler parts of the day, early morning or evening, to prevent leaf burn and ensure maximum effectiveness. Focus on the undersides of leaves where many pests like to hide, and don't forget to spray the soil around the base of plants where crawling insects might approach. Reapply after rain or every five to seven days during peak pest season. The scent might be strong to us, but it's absolutely overwhelming to unwanted garden visitors. Neem Oil, Nature's Multipurpose Wonder Neem oil deserves special recognition in every gardener's arsenal because it functions as both a preventative measure and an active treatment. Derived from the seeds of the neem tree, this golden oil contains azadiractin, a compound that disrupts the feeding and reproductive cycles of over 200 species of insects. What makes neem oil particularly valuable is its systemic action. When absorbed by plants, it provides ongoing protection from the inside out. The key to success with neem oil lies in proper preparation and application timing. Mix two tablespoons of pure neem oil with one teaspoon of mild liquid soap in one gallon of lukewarm water. The soap acts as an emulsifier, helping the oil blend completely with water rather than separating. Shake the mixture thoroughly before each use as separation is natural and expected. Apply neem oil spray in the early evening when beneficial pollinators have returned to their homes for the night. This timing protects helpful insects while targeting problematic ones. Neem oil works slowly but effectively, often taking several days to show full results. It's particularly effective against scale insects, mealybugs, spider mites, and various caterpillars. Beyond pest control, neem oil also possesses antifungal properties, helping prevent powdery mildew and other common plant diseases. Baking Soda, the Fungal Disease Fighter When fungal diseases threaten to overtake your garden, baking soda emerges as an unexpected hero. This common household ingredient creates an alkaline environment on leaf surfaces that many fungal spores simply cannot tolerate. It's particularly effective against powdery mildew, black spot on roses, and early stages of blight on tomatoes and other nightshade plants. Create your baking soda spray by dissolving one tablespoon of baking soda in one gallon of water, adding half a teaspoon of liquid soap to improve coverage and adherence. Some gardeners enhance this basic recipe by adding a tablespoon of vegetable oil, which helps the solution stick to leaves longer 
and provides additional suffocating action against fungal spores. The secret to baking soda's effectiveness lies in consistent, preventative application rather than waiting until diseases are well established. Begin spraying early in the growing season, especially during periods of high humidity or when weather conditions favor fungal development. Apply weekly during vulnerable periods, always in the early morning or evening to avoid potential leaf burn from the sun's intensity combined with the alkaline solution. Soap spray, simple yet surprisingly effective. Never underestimate the power of a simple soap spray. It's often the first line of defense I recommend to new gardeners because of its gentleness and broad-spectrum effectiveness. Insecticidal soap works by penetrating the waxy protective coating of soft-bodied insects, causing them to dehydrate. It's particularly effective against aphids, spider mites, thrips, and young caterpillars. The crucial element in creating an effective soap spray is choosing the right soap. Use only pure liquid Castile soap or specifically labeled insecticidal soap. Never use detergents, antibacterial soaps, or anything with additives that could harm plants. Mix 2 tablespoons of pure liquid soap per gallon of water, creating a solution that's strong enough to be effective but gentle enough not to damage plant tissues. Application technique matters significantly with soap sprays. Make sure to cover the affected areas completely, paying special attention to the undersides of leaves where pests often like to gather. The soap needs to make direct contact with the insects to work effectively, so thorough coverage is, well, essential. It's best to apply the spray during the cooler parts of the day, and if you're worried about potential leaf sensitivity, rinse the plants with clean water a few hours later. Epsom Salt Spray the Magnesium Boost with Pest Benefits This spray serves a dual purpose in the garden. It provides plants with readily available magnesium while creating an environment that certain pests find inhospitable. Magnesium is crucial for chlorophyll production and overall plant health, and deficiencies often show up as yellowing between leaf veins. By addressing this nutritional need, we're also strengthening the plant's natural resistance to pest pressure. Dissolve 2 tablespoons of Epsom salt in 1 gallon of water, stirring until it's completely dissolved. This spray is particularly beneficial for tomatoes, peppers, roses, and other plants known for their magnesium needs. The salt leaves a crystalline residue on leaf surfaces that can deter slugs and snails, while the magnesium boost helps plants develop stronger cell walls and more robust growth. Apply the Epsom salt spray every two weeks during the active growing season, focusing on established plants rather than seedlings, which can be more sensitive to salt applications. This treatment is especially valuable during flowering and fruit setting periods when the plant's magnesium demands are at their highest. The beauty of this spray lies in its dual action. You're feeding your plants while creating a less attractive environment for common garden pests. Essential Oil Blends, Aromatic Protection Essential oils offer another powerful avenue for natural pest control, harnessing the concentrated essences of plants that have evolved their own pest deterrent compounds. Peppermint, rosemary, thyme, and eucalyptus oils are particularly effective, each bringing unique properties to your garden protection strategy. Create a versatile essential oil spray by combining 10 drops each of peppermint and rosemary essential oils with one teaspoon of liquid soap in one quart of water. The soap helps disperse the oils throughout the water, creating a more uniform spray. This combination is particularly effective against ants, aphids, and various flying insects that find these scents overwhelming. The concentration of essential oils is critical, too little won't be effective, while too much can potentially harm plants or beneficial insects. Always test on a small area first and observe for 24 hours before full application. These sprays work best as preventative measures and should be reapplied regularly, especially after rain. The aromatic nature of these treatments also makes your garden a more pleasant place to work and spend time. Tomato Leaf Spray – Using What You Grow Here's an insider secret that many gardeners overlook. Tomato plants themselves produce natural compounds that repel many garden pests. The alkaloids in tomato leaves, particularly tomatine, are toxic to aphids, whiteflies, and other soft-bodied insects. This means you can create an effective pest spray using pruned tomato leaves that would otherwise end up in your compost pile. 
Chop 2 cups of fresh tomato leaves and steep them in 2 cups of water overnight. Strain the mixture thoroughly, removing all plant material then dilute the resulting liquid with an equal amount of fresh water. Add a teaspoon of liquid soap to improve adherence and effectiveness. This spray is particularly effective against the very pests that commonly attack tomato plants, creating a natural feedback loop of protection. Use tomato leaf spray cautiously and never on plants in the nightshade family, as the alkaloids that make it effective against pests can also stress related plants. It's most effective on brassicas, beans, and other non-nightshade crops. Always wear gloves when handling tomato leaves and preparing this spray, as some people are sensitive to the alkaloids that make this treatment effective. Success with natural garden sprays depends heavily on understanding when, how, and why to apply them. Timing your applications during the cooler parts of the day prevents leaf burn and ensures that beneficial insects aren't harmed. Early morning is often ideal because dew provides additional moisture to help the spray adhere, while evening applications allow treatments to work overnight when many pests are most active. Testing any new spray on a small, inconspicuous area of each plant type is absolutely essential. What works beautifully on your roses might stress your delicate lettuce, and individual plants can react differently even within the same species. Wait 24 to 48 hours after your test application to observe any adverse reactions before proceeding with full treatment. Consistency in application often matters more than concentration. Regular preventative treatments with properly diluted natural sprays are far more effective than sporadic applications of stronger concentrations. Keep detailed records of what you use, when you apply it, and the results you observe. This information becomes invaluable for refining your approach and timing applications perfectly for your specific garden conditions. Remember that natural doesn't automatically mean harmless. These sprays can affect beneficial insects if misused, and some can cause plant stress under certain conditions. The goal is creating a balanced approach that protects your plants while maintaining the complex ecosystem that makes gardens truly thrive. Your garden is a living system that benefits from gentle, thoughtful intervention rather than aggressive chemical warfare. These natural sprays represent a partnership with nature, using the wisdom that plants have developed over millennia to protect themselves and their neighbors. By incorporating these solutions into your gardening routine, you're not just protecting this season's crops, you're building a more resilient, sustainable garden that will serve you well for years to come. If you found these natural solutions as exciting as I do, make sure to subscribe to the Smart Garden YouTube channel for more eco-friendly gardening tips and techniques. Share this guide with fellow gardeners who are ready to embrace chemical-free growing. Together, we can cultivate healthier gardens and a healthier planet, one spray bottle at a time.